Okay, the next thing is how your shutter's framed. All of the windows in your home are, have enough depth that you can do the biggest louvers. You could do four and a half inches like this. These are four and a half inches. There's more space between them. Or you could do three and a half. There's a little bit less space between those, right? There's no difference in cost. Um, but the next thing is how they're framed. And so when your shutters are framed, this is a good example of a bull nose frame. And it's just very square. Um, this is, you know, you can see the whole thing if you're here, but this is another example of a bull nose frame. I'll send you a picture of that, but the bull nose frame down here in the corner is very square, very plain, uh, very simple, right? If you have moldings and trims around your doors and around the floors that have more of a wiggle like that, you might do um, a trim molding instead. And so some people like this or some people like that, there's not really a right or wrong answer. Um, you just do whatever matches better with your home or whichever one you like better, right? Um, there is a bigger one, um, but I find I never really sell it. This uh, deluxe trim is just so stinking big that by the time you put it on, um, it's huge. Because you have a, a frame around your window with the panels, right? Where this, this isn't the frame, but the, the door itself and the frame are what make up the frame of your window if that goes all the way around. So rarely do I have anybody ever choose the deluxe one and, and the few times I have they always go oh that's that's huge that's too big so I always just stick with you know either the trim frame or it's just like this and it has more of a trim just like the moldings near your floor or around your doors or you know this one's a little bit more shaker it's called a bullnose or a plain frame and so um, either of those